you know, there's uncertainty with every trade. Hey, it's Walter here, and you're at the Think Profit Podcast, where we're going to help you develop a rock-solid trading confidence and avoid the potentially endless cycle of system switching. Right, Hugh? That's right. We're going to help you develop a wealth mindset, develop a trading strategy that fits your core personality, and help you overcome the obstacles that stop over 90% of traders. All right, Hugh. Sounds good. You ready to go? Yeah, let's do this. Hey, uh, so we have a question here from a trader. He writes in and he says, you know, he's been trading for three years. He wants to become profitable with his live trading because right now he's at break even roughly, uh, not really making money, but not really losing, which is a big, big step. And he really wants to get good at sniper entries. So what do you think about that? Like, what are your thoughts about sniper entries? Yeah, that's interesting, right? Um, I think it really depends on how he defines sniper. But whenever somebody says sniper to me, it's usually they want a, um, a sure thing. Right, they're looking for an entry that they can get in and out really quickly. It's more like a scalp, and uh, they want like a higher win rate. I think is the the thought behind it. So, um, it's certainly possible. You know, there's very there are very good snipers out there. I mean, very good scalpers out there who have these systems called sniper whatever entries or whatever. Yeah, I would look into that if that's part of your personality. If it's not, then um, you know maybe you're trying to live up to this ideal that doesn't really fit you. So. That would be my thoughts. I mean, like, look at these guys who are doing scalping or these really short term things or these really, you know, small stop loss type of systems and see if it's for you, if it makes sense, back test it and see if, uh, you know, that works for you. If not, then you might not, you know, have the personality to do that kind of thing. So just um, take whatever you have and develop a system around that, something that matches you. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think you're right. I think you're under the, to me, it sounds like, when he says sniper entries, it mean like, you know, get in perfectly at the perfect peak yeah. where you're selling or the perfect bottom where you're buying. And you basically, yeah, like you're, it's sort of like sniper, like you think like doesn't miss, you know, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So high win rate. I think that's what he means. It sounds like it could be helpful to accept the uncertainty, right, of trading, which is part of what we get paid for, a big part of what we get paid for. So that's what I would probably do. I would say, um, while there, it is possible to, you know, some people who use sniper entries, they like, they'll take like a, um, you know, a higher time frame, establish a direction, and then maybe a medium time frame and confirm or whatever. And then they get in on the lower time frame for like a sniper entry. I do think that it's possible that the largest gains most likely for this trader are going to come in the area of learning to accept this idea that you know there's uncertainty with every trade and that mm -hmm. you have to get comfortable with having uncertainty you know with every trade so i personally would you know i would suggest that that would be something to look into i think we put a lot of emphasis on the charts and i don't necessarily agree that that's where do you know what I mean? Like that that's where the 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 bulk of the trading work is. It's I believe mostly in you. And so mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's a more mature thing, I think, as a trader to get comfortable with the fear of uncertainty or 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 that sort of thing. And I think I'm not sure, but this question sounds like exactly what you're saying, which is this person is looking for a sure thing. This per they're looking for the perfect entry. So it's kind of like they're still in the system side of things. They're like, I need a better system, need a better entry. I need to get in perfectly, blah, blah, blah. When really, it doesn't really matter what your strategy is. If you have a 99% win rate or whatever, you still know it's, it's uncertain. You don't know mm -hmm. what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And there are things that can happen outside of what you expect too. Like, you could, you know, you say, oh, I could get stopped out or I could make profit. Well, it could also languish for three months and not either, you know, neither hit your stop nor your profit mm -hmm. or it could gap over your stop loss, right? It could gap over your profit target. Like it, all kinds of things could happen that maybe we didn't, you know, we weren't really thinking about. So yeah, it's a bit tricky. Yeah. Yeah. I think another thing to consider also is like, if you are going to go that like sniper route or scalping route, I, I think. Most people aren't cut out for that. Like I, I only know maybe two traders who are really good at that, and everybody else is more of like a between a day trader and a swing trader. So, I think that's something to consider. Also, yeah. that it really does take a very special personality type to be with, like very short term. 
Yeah, and it's easier to start higher up and go lower. Yeah, it's way way easier. Yeah. Everyone wants to be in it. Like I trade, I trade uh, five minute charts on Bitcoin and Litecoin, but it's not really like a five. Like it doesn't feel like a five minute system to me because I can be in trades for days. <laughs> <laughs> so because you know what I mean, because the stop is the stop is so wide and the target is so far away. So yeah. even though it's it's really weird, it's a weird thing because you would think. You know, most five minute systems, you think you'd know within the hour or maybe an hour and a half or whatever what happens. But my trades will often go for like four, six, eight, 12 hours or days. Like it's crazy. So, yeah. So, um, but that's just an artifact, I think, of the, of the, of the wide stop. You know, it's not, it's not a, a sniper entry. <laughs> it's far <laughs> from that. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's pretty funny. So, yeah. But I agree. I agree with what you're saying. It's a, uh, there's a slippery slope. Like when you're when you're when you're in and out really quick on the lower time frame charts, you get you get a lot of quick feedback. You this can uh you can get like addicted or like revenge trading. You know what I mean? There's a lot going on there and and so you you're getting hit with a lot of um endorphins just from your trading platform with all the jing 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 and everything that you get <laughs> yeah. because you're taking all these trades, right? So it's a it's a totally different thing to uh trading like the, you know, 4-hour charts or daily charts or something like that yeah yeah all right cool thanks walter thanks all information in this podcast is for educational and informational purposes only and is not trading or investment advice